Welcome back to Let's Co-op Resident Evil Director's Cut. Yo. I do not remember what we were doing. <laughs> the only thing I remember is fighting. Oh, I have magnum rounds. It is good. Yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and put these away. Um... Put that there. Oh, I need to look up to see where the other MO discs are for this version. Right, Rita. Actually, I got this. Hold on. I'm gonna take my clips with me. Evil director's cut arranged mode MO disc. What does MO disc stand for? I have no idea. Okay, there was. Oh, that's right. The passcode. There's something I forgot to do in this room up here. My eye is stitchy. That's because my one complaint with my new glasses is that I can't fit my hand under my glasses anymore to itch my eye. I have to take them off. Uh, I haven't gotten new glasses in a couple years. I need to. Okay, I'm going to turn this light off. Yes, I turned the light off. <gasps> What's that? He's flashing. So I'm gonna turn this back I on. I don't have this puzzle at all. There's um, a there's a flashy thing in the deer's eye. According to this one guide I found, I'll send it to you on Skype. These are the locations of the discs. Okay, I think I need to turn this off to actually get it. Let's see. Also, I'm kind of typing to people, so I might mute my mic occasionally, so you don't have to hear the okay. talking. It is kind of important that I. You try and take out the eyeball. Sure. Rip it out! Rip! Ew, it's all bloody. Okay. What are you talking about? That's just cranberry sauce. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on. And zombies! Oh no! That would suck. That would be so bad. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. I don't need to worry about finding them now. For, for right now, anyway. Okay. Um, I gotta go this way. Oh! Hi! <clears throat> Where's the bathrooms? Down the hall it's going left. Oh god, ow! What the heck? <laughs> you asked me a question, then you shoot me in the head! <laughs> Sorry. That was so uncalled for. <laughs> this is for shooting Frank in the face. Ooh. <laughs> the timing on that was great, though. <laughs> Hey, you want, you're uh, not quite ahead there anymore. You seem to be missing a little something. I'm not ahead in life. No, you're really not ahead in life anymore. You kind of got chopped out a block. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone always seems to be a step ahead of you. I know. Okay, so apparently... I suck. So... <laughs> or the hunters are just douchebags. That's probably more likely. Well, they're douchebags and it's a range game, so they hit harder. Um... This is for, this is for Frank! Slice. I'm gonna take those, actually. And... Do I have any more... I do not have any more acid rounds, but I have flame rounds, which I will take. And I don't know if you remember or not, but there are some acid rounds that I never picked up on the oh second gosh. floor. I don't remember much about what's going on. Yeah, they were in that little dining room before the snake room. And I never picked them up! Because I'm a dunce and I totally forgot. <laughs> Excuse me! 
Yes. Ow. Do you have any great poupon? No, no, ow. What are you doing? Ow. That's not proper shotgun etiquette. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's try this again. And yes, I know I forgot to go to that room. Yeah, yeah. It's not proper shotgun etiquette, lady. Stop it! I don't wanna. Wow, okay. I killed it. Okay, is that- Oh, hi! Hey, hey, hey! You were supposed to die. Well, I'm sorry, you're supposed to use proper bazooka etiquette! Oh, crap. Oh, god. Okay, um... I gotta go get that jewel anyway. Again. <laughs> Thanks, Frank! You had one job! And you did it pretty well, please consider. <laughs> yeah. I almost died, but not quite. Yeah, Frank kind of messed his job uh, up this time. Well, crap. I am pretty much screwed. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, excuse me. That was unexpected. Let's see if I can actually finish this game. <laughs> I need more healing items. Because I'm not good at dodging, so I keep getting hit. It is not good. Okay, turn... actually, come down here, push this. I pushed it too far. Hopefully I can still get it. Get... Can you get on the thingy? Jill? Ugh. I don't know. My leg's a little sore. Because she got hit. Because I almost got my head cut off again. I'm gonna be so mad if... Yeah. If, if, um, putting that jewel where it needs to go isn't worth it. It probably isn't. I'm going to be very angry. It's never really worth it in this game. I don't... I'm starting to think it's not going to be worth it to go get those acid browns that I never picked up. Uh, well, Mr. Final Boss is going to disagree with you there. Well, I have <laughs> the Magnum rounds, so I should be never, good. You can never be too prepared. And I keep using my flame rounds and stuff on those stupid hunters. If you keep in mind that this is a range game, so I don't know if it hits harder or has more health or... I don't know. You have to go. You you also have to fight him twice. Yeah. Enough to get the rocket. Uh, enough to get the magic MacGuffin and. Mhm. Mm okay. Enough to knock him down the first time. I got rid of those hunters, so it should be good. Okay. This way... There better not be a hunter in here. Okay. And then he jumps out of the tiger's mouth! Oh, I have to do it manually! Of course I do! Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? Magnum rounds. Okay. That's worth it. There's like three of them in there. Thank you. You're welcome. 
That's that's what the game's telling you right now. I know I'm kind of a dick, but thanks for playing me anyway. <laughs> be nice if I could get some healing items. <sighs> okay. Let's go back upstairs now, because now we got to use the passcode to get through that door. And I'm... Hmm? I'm just going to skip those acid browns. I mean, I can try to go back and get them between videos. You have a lot of magnum browns. Yeah. I'm saving those, so... But I, I found ocean facts. Ocean? Totally not amazing or mundane or made up at all. Some of them include... If the blue whale... Wait. The blue whale is so large that if it were laid long ways on a basketball court, the game would be cancelled. <laughs> the colossal... The colossal... What, sorry? I'm like, really? <laughs> The colossal squid is twice as long as a school bus, can, but can only hold half as many kids. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should probably save, huh? Probably. An octopus has taste buds all, all along its tentacles. If humans had taste buds on their hands, no one would want to high-five each other. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jellyfish aren't technically fish. They aren't technically jelly, either. Everything I know is a lie. <laughs> the phone crab vibrates on the ground until someone picks it up and then burrows into their brain. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> I love all of these lies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the blue whale's aorta is so large a child could crawl through it. I know I already did blue whales. I'm the cartoonist, not you. <laughs> Maybe you should try crawling through your own aorta. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> this is just something I found at the filled space because there's not entirely much to talk about when we're running around. Yeah. <clears throat> Seahorses are raised by their. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> that one's terrible. See, horses are raised by their father, just like I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've entered the pass number! Okay. What's awaiting for us here? Oh, I'm not wasting my flame round on you. But, die! But, ow! I just wanna get hey! Once. I told you to die! What is over here? What is over here? Hi! Boom! I'm eating my friend! Leave me alone! <laughs> You're eat- Ew! Die! Ow! There goes my dinner. He's still alive. No, he's not. Or he still is? Okay. Why? He was just eating me. It's cool. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm gonna try not to use those. I would use one. No, no, you're on fine. I'm lying. Don't use one. What are we talking about? Honestly, if I were you, I would put at least one green herb in a box and not grab it out until it's in yeah. game time. Yeah. You know what I should have done? I should have done my run of Code Veronica before I attempted this. <laughs> That's what I made this like a cakewalk. I know! <laughs> oh. Um, what am I doing? This thing. There we go. I hear the clickety clack of. Oh, you bastard! Hey. I can hear your friend. I should have gotten more flamboyant voice off for that one. Come on. <clears throat> I'll do it first, Fred. Hey. No. No. Oh. That idiot. Okay, there. Okay. <laughs> Take a minute. See if I can find more interesting tracks. Oh, good. Grenade. Grenade, grenade, grenade. If all else fails, I can always pull up some fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need those. Thank you, game. 
We can make this an episode of Fan Fiction Theater. Fanfiction.net. Unleash your imagination. Uh, that's how do it too. Oh, thank you, game. Of course, now I have a full inventory. Um, and there's I'm... a there's a nice. I'm gonna run back. Sorry. So I can just put these herbs away. Because if I find some red ones, I'll be set. Okay. So I put all that stuff away, and now we will go in here. Hello? I hear... Zombie! Oh, hi! And story not found, of course. The desk is locked. We use the lockpick. I am the master of unlocking. Oh, yay! Magnum rounds! I know you're there. Come on. Okay. And another one. Come on, buddy. Scrapbook. Uh, did you want to read it, or should I? <clears throat> I got. It. Uh, one second. Let me just. Ah, wrong page. Here. <clears throat> Raccoon Times, May 27th, 1998. Animal attack, woman mutilated. That's a weird headline. <laughs> yeah. Who makes that the headline? Animal attack? Animal attack, I understand, but you don't stick woman mutilated in the headline, do you? It doesn't make you want to read it. <clears throat> You'd May be 20th. surprised. Really? Yeah. Right. People <clears throat> like the violence. That's so weird. I don't want to read that. Um... May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Mar Marble, Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it, it to be nothing... To, it to be a grizzly or... No, oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animals are doing because there are teeth marks no longer mutilated. Who writes like this? <laughs> It's a newspaper article, I know, but who writes like that? <clears throat> Her mutilated arms and left foot that... Specifically the left foot, nothing else, just the foot. That show considerable power. Said she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot. It has been determined that she was attacked in the Arkway Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. That's my... Kind of, a, like, news announcer voice. Yeah. <clears throat> Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. Monsters in Arkley Mountain? <laughs> the worst headline! Question mark? <laughs> Question mark? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arkley Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. So you smart leaders should stay out of the Arkway Mountains for the time being. <clears throat> but if you're looking for a better, check it out. You want to try? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> look at a newspaper says, hey, if you're looking for adventure, go get yourself killed. Yeah. That was my reaction. <laughs> go get yourself killed by some evil dogs. Whatever, it's not my responsibility. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water real quick. That's that's fine. I have to like suck in like my I have to like hold my throat when I do that voice, so it's uh. thirsty. Raccoon Times, July 9th, 1998. Mystery at Arclay Mountains, mountain road blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. <clears throat> At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for the lost people with the help of... I wanna... Should I spell it? I kinda wanna spell it, cause it's spelled like... Go ahead. <laughs> S. Period. P. Period. A. Period. God. 
A period, R period, S period team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arclay of the of Arclay Mountains. That's not right. It's the you mean uh -huh. down there of the Arclay Mountains and the prim, pr, prime, pr, prim, prim, primeval primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. This time, it had blonde hair and sunglasses. <gasps> Maybe, maybe that zombie was the one saying all that because he fell over as soon as I was done t <laughs> looking at him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we blocked it off because I accidentally told everyone to go try killing themselves. Oops. Yeah, that's the only reason that guy's up there. He just walked up here and he's like, oh, I'm dying now. Great. Oh, puzzle. Can I push this? Thank you. Push it again. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. I have to put it in the corner. There's a switch. I have to push it over to the light. The light, it burns. I am pushing it with my elbow. Or my hip. I'm not sure which. Hardest puzzle ever. Hardest puzzle ever. Ever. <laughs> Will you take the Doom Book One? <laughs> what a name! The Doom Book One. Check. Yeep. There was a medal in the book. Yay! Eagle medal. As opposed to something else. Okay. Is there anything else on that desk or nothing? Okay. I think the MO disc is there on the normal game. I sent you a bookshelf in the study of the first floor of the mansions where one of them is. Yeah, I picked that one up already. Then the next one is in a hidden shelf in okay. the visual data room lab basement. You. Yeah, that's not till the next area. So I think. we're good. We're good. Is there anything else in here? Oh, uh, just some guy trapped in the bookcase. You know how it goes. Yeah, there's, there's something behind here. Pushy! Fine, don't pushy. I'm gonna have to go back out and back in. To reset it because I was a dunce. Dunce, dunce, dunce. I don't dunce, dunce, and I don't dunce, dunce. There we go. What's in here? Nothing. Ink ribbons. I, I like ink ribbons. Not that I need any more of them, but hey, won't say that for you. No. <laughs> I'm not even using my Beretta anymore. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Battery. Oh, oh battery. Yeah, battery. We need that. We need that. <laughs> Crows. You. No, Rose no, revenge. no. <laughs> Those are literally the worst thing in the world. <sighs> they, are worse than, they are worse than every video game. I hate them in the second one. I hate them here. <laughs> oh, they're worse here, though. Yeah. In the two, you can just do the magic scoot. You know, okay. 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 Oh. Can I use this? Yes. Do I want to, though? Was oh. this a bad idea? Bad idea? I don't know. 
Was this a bad idea? I don't know. I'm in the kitchen. Isn't that what the zombie's like really hungry is that? He's like, I'm gonna go. Uh, no, I don't want to come down because those spiders are still up there. <laughs> surprise! Yep, the, surp the surprise spiders. Okay. Let's see what the internet can do for random facts. Are they useless facts? Sure. So you couldn't find any fan fiction? Um, I'll have to prepare some for the next time. Okay. It's too much work to read through all of it to make sure it's worth reading and yeah. all that good stuff. A large, flawless emerald is worth more than a simmer... simmer... Similarly large, flawless diamond. Hmm. These aren't supposed to be funny. These are just random things I'm reading to pass the travel time. Um, Mexican free-tailed bats sometimes fly up to two miles high to feed or to catch tailwinds that carry them long distances at speeds of more than 60 miles per hour. That's kind of gross. I'm going to read that. Okay, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. So, uh, I read this book hey! and I like it. Ow! You lit me on fire! It didn't work. Alright, so I. I can Stop it! Ow. Then you, he exploded. It is estimated that millions of trees are planted by forgetful squirrels. Oh? Yeah. In Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter never blinks. Imagine how that would be for poor. Poor Anthony Hopkins. Having to sit through entire scenes without blinking his eyes once. That's kind of creepy, actually. I know. He's such a good Hannibal Lecter, though. I have never seen Silence of the Lambs. Oh, you should watch it. Oh, I can watch it with you. Oh, oh crap. God. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I, wow. dent I dented my desk. Oops. I'm ending it. <laughs> I'll get back to where I was. I keep dying. I'm sorry. It's a range game. It was a stupid idea. But hey! That's why I'm giving Chris a normal We're having fun, right? I am. I'm reading random facts. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.